As we reflect on Memorial Day, I had a chance to speak one on one with award winning journalist and 60 Minutes correspondent Scott Pelley. He has a new memoir highlighting his decades long career. During our interview, we talked about what it was like covering Ground Zero on 9 11 and traveling to war zones, seeing the differences our soldiers have made in war torn countries and the challenges facing a new generation of journalists. It's a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. I had met the most fascinating people in the world. He landed his first job in journalism at the age of 15 as a copy boy for a local Texas paper. Now, 44 years later, Scott Pelley has seen the world and the people in it. Some of them famous presidents, movie stars, what have you, and some of them people that you've probably never heard of, but who have, who have shown incredible values and principles during some of the most difficult conceivable times. Pelly has written a new memoir called The Truth Worth Telling. The award-winning journalist and 60 Minutes correspondent says the stakes are high. You know, there's no democracy without journalism, and so it is so important for a new generation of journalists to move forward because the quality of our democracy is tied directly to the quality of the information that the American people have. You start the book uh, on 9-11. Uh, did you ever think when that was happening, I know you were at Ground Zero, you've been to Iraq and Afghanistan, that this was just totally unbelievable, that this wasn't really happening? You know, Mike, in a strange way, it seems that way to me today. It's hard to believe that that actually happened, but I was at Ground Zero when the buildings came down. The first chapter in the book is entitled Gallantry, and it's about what I saw with the firefighters of the FDNY on that day, the fact that they charged up those stairwells knowing the risk against just the chance of being able to save someone. Pelly has reported from the front lines, heading to Iraq 24 times and 10 times in Afghanistan, and he has felt loss. His colleague Paul Douglas was killed by a roadside bomb covering a story in Iraq in 2006. This holiday weekend brings back memories. Well, talking about Memorial Day, what I, what I saw in both of those places over many years is Americans trying to make the very best out of a situation. Uh, in Afghanistan, you know, it occurred to me we were in that country to provide those people with democracy, better roads, better security, better schools, all of those things being built by American troops and American contractors there. These were the people who harbored our enemies, but we weren't there to seize territory or wealth. We were there to make their lives better. And that's just a uniquely American value. And that's what I saw in both of those war zones. Pelly also reported on the Persian Gulf crisis and the 1991 invasion of Iraq. His book, The Truth Worth Telling, is on sale now.